give a man a plane ticket, and he'll fly for a day. Push him out of the plane at 3,000 feet, and he'll fly for the rest of his life. <laughs> what up, YouTube? Let's hear it. Thanks again for visiting the channel. As always, I appreciate it. If this is your first time to the channel, thank you so much for watching. Please just go ahead and hit that thumbs up button just for the algorithm. And if you enjoy the content, please subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate that. Go ahead and give me a follow. Uh, actually, that's my email. I'm sorry. Uh, give me a follow on Instagram. Uh, let's underscore do it up. Uh, and if you'd like to supply some knives to the channel for review, uh, go ahead and send me an email. Let's diu79 at gmail.com. I will go ahead and send you my shipping address. You can send me a, a knife or knives for review if you'd like. And uh, I'll go ahead and do the review and send it back to you as soon as I'm finished. Uh, this unboxing brought to you today by the incomparable Apex Alchemy. If you'd be so kind, just go ahead and on, Inst on YouTube, um, go ahead and give him a subscription. Check out his channel. He's got a lot of nice knives uh, and a lot of great content. Uh, Apex Alchemy, A-P-E-X-A-L-C-H-E-M-Y. All right, guys. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and kittens. Uh, we've got a very exciting unboxing. I'm not sure exactly what's in here. But we're going to go ahead and check it out. I am using my brand new uh, Sharp by Design Evo Typhoon to unbox these knives. I say knives because it's a pretty heavy box. I'm guessing it's not just one. Uh, so let's see what we've got here. Okay, should do the trick. <laughs> Bazinga, here we go. All right, so it looks like they're in bags. I don't want to drop anything. We've got a few in here. That's awesome. Ooh. I think we've got something in here from Bird Blades, so that's pretty exciting. Or not Bird Blades. <laughs> uh, the um, Beg Knives. Uh, I'm not sure if this is the Bodega or not, but I did tell him I wanted to take a look at the, uh, the Beg Knives that he has. Uh, so we'll go through, through these one at a time. We'll start with the big knives. I'll get these uh, unwrapped real quick so we don't have to mess around with that when we get there. Oh, very cool. We Roxy 3, I believe that's called. We'll go through all these in just a few minutes here, but we'll start with the, uh, the big knife. We've also got the Kaiser Mini Paragon. Uh, which, as you can see, is not a mini knife by any means, uh, but that's what they're calling it. They are uh, releasing a uh, Paragon XL, which I guess is going to be close to the size of the 4Max Scout, so that's very exciting. I like big knives, and I cannot lie. Oh, good. So we also have the extra mini Paragon here as well, so that's pretty sweet. We can look at both of these. All right. So the big knife that we have here, let's see, that is, I believe that is the Bodega. Let me see if there's anything written. Because life doesn't come pre-sliced. That's right. That's true. Very, very true. It does not come pre-sliced. I'm not sure if this is a mini something or because this is pretty small. That's what she said. So it just says BG004 here. Let's see if this uh, literature can shed some light on the situation. Congratulations on your new bag knife. Let's see here. Uh, closure, put your information, steel craft, blah, 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 care and maintenance, blah, 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 coating. Yeah, so it looks like this is just the bodega, so this is just a smaller knife. Um, yeah, that's really cool. Uh, so what are we looking at for blade steel here? It doesn't say. If I'm going to take a guess, I'm going to guess that that says that, that, that's, that, 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 that this is D2 blade steel, which is fine by me. Uh, these are budget versions of the bag knives that are very, very expensive. Uh, bag knives makes custom knives. Uh, so obviously their standard versions, uh, their regular knives, are going to be much, much more expensive than these ones are. We've got some steel liners, what looks like a steel backspacer, steel pocket clip with a ceramic ball bearing, uh, G10 liners, and this is a liner lock. Very comfortable in the hand. It's a flipper, obviously. No forward finger choil. Well, I don't know. You might be able to call that a forward finger choil if somebody with uh, regular size fingers, but 
that is too small for me to fit my finger in there. That's what he said. Uh, as I said, liner lock. There's no skeletonization of these liners at all. Not a very heavy knife, though. I will, uh, I'll go over all the specs and everything on these guys when I do the comprehensive reviews, though. Uh, but this is a very cool looking knife. Very cool way to get your hands on a beg knife without actually paying the uh, those custom prices. Uh, looks like a hollow grind. I'm going to call that a hollow grind all the way out to the tip. Uh, and we've got a fuller here with uh, some nice little holes milled into the center there. Some people would call that a blood groove, but that's silly. Uh, the flipper tab down here works also as a finger guard. And you've got a swedge here that starts about 10% uh, down the blade and extends all the way out to the tip. Uh, looks like we've probably got T8 hardware for the pivot, T6 for the pocket clip, and T8 for the body screws which works for me. Uh, you've got some uh, some crowning on the spine here, radius on the spine, depends on how you want to label that. Uh, but uh, once you get to the swedge here, uh, it doesn't look like they really crown this part of the spine at all, just this part down here. Uh, but yeah, definitely a good looking knife. Not something that I would carry on a regular basis, just because it's pretty small. Um, but yeah, this works as a little um, a little slicer. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people out there would be more than happy to carry this guy. It's a good EC EDC size for sure. Uh, but I, I prefer to carry something a little bit more substantial. Uh, I'm sure you guys know that by now. Flipper works really, really well. No lock stick. Um, the blade disengages very, very easily. Drops back down into the handle. It doesn't uh, fall shut, but a little bit of shaking. Goes right back down in there. Uh, that's to be expected with such a small blade there. Uh, and I'm sure this is running on bearings. Uh, but yeah, pretty cool knife. I'm sure the uh, the review on this will be pretty simple. Uh, I'll have that coming at you in a week or two. Uh, next up, I'm going to put this back in the box, put the paperwork back in there so I don't lose it. Okay. Bazinga. All right. What are we going to do next? I'll go ahead and do the uh, the, the extra mini Paragon. Uh, this is a pretty cool knife. Uh, the mini Paragon, this looks like a good uh, EDC size for most people. Uh, again, a little bit small for me, but not too bad. Uh, you've got a recurved blade here, uh, a compound grind. Uh, looks like a little bit more robustness out towards the tip. A little bit of milling here uh, on the flat. Uh, you've got a thumb hole here and a swedge that carries all the way down to the tip of the knife. Uh, G10 scales. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what they call this. Um, probably just regular G10 with a little bit of swirliness in it. A uh, little bit of milling on the G10 scales. That's nice to see. Uh, G10 backspacer as well. Looks like probably T8 pivot and I think that's a T6 there for the body screws as well as the pocket clip. I don't know. Those body screws might be T8. It's hard to say. Hard to say, really. You guys decide. Let's see if I can get that to focus. Why isn't that focusing? There we go. Yeah. Uh, so very nice handle scales on this guy. Um, this is a Kaiser knife. I believe this was released after the Mini Paragon. Uh, let's see if the blade steel is on here. Paragon Extra Mini V6. Sorry, V36. Zero, zero, E1. So I don't see the blade steel on here any... Oh, there it is. 3V. Wow. So that's pretty good. Gotta love the, the, the 3V. I haven't handled a lot of 3V. Uh, he said I can go ahead and use this. So I'll see if maybe we can take this in the backyard, do some light chopping, and see how that 3V holds up. You've got uh, a little bit, a couple of jimps. One, two jimps there on the, uh, the, sp <laughs> the spine of the blade. Uh, and a little ramp here for your thumb. Uh, very comfortable in the hand, uh, just long enough for me to be able to get a full four finger grip on this guy. Uh, and very comfortable. Yeah, I like this a lot. Um, they looks like they milled the, um, the scales down just a little bit on the show side so that you can access that lock bar there. Uh, as you can see, this is a liner lock. I'm assuming steel liner lock. I doubt that would be titanium. Uh, but yeah, very cool knife. I have, I've always, I've wanted, bleh, 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 I've wanted to check out the Paragons ever since they came out. So I'm glad he sent me these to take a peek at. Uh, looks like he's taken this apart a few times. Uh, probably just to uh, maybe lube the uh, pivot and work on it a little bit. 
Uh, but yeah, good looking knife. Stamped stainless steel pocket clip uh, with some kind of coating on there. Also the lining, the lining, the liners are coated. Uh, and yeah, this is definitely a good looking blade. I like this thing a lot. Not exactly the most practical thing in the world, uh, but it's cool looking. Uh, and it's um, a neat little knife. Yeah, I like this for sure. I will, uh, again, I'll check this out in the backyard, see how it does under some stress. Uh, and I'll do a full comprehensive review on this guy in a couple of weeks. Definitely good action. Whips right out with that flipper tab. As you can see, falls straight down, straight back down into the handle with no problem whatsoever. Doesn't need any encouragement or anything like that. Definitely guillotine action on this guy for sure. Let's see if it's loose. Nope. Nice and tight. No blade play whatsoever left, right, up, or down. So yeah, that's just um, definitely running on bearings. Uh, and that's obviously just uh, a really well-made really well -made knife as to why that just drops back down into the handle like that. All right. We'll go ahead and take a the look at take a look at the um, the mini Paragon next. Now, I don't think I've ever handled any of Kaiser's micarta. Um, nope, I'm sorry. My uh, Begliter XL does have some micarta, but it's definitely a different texture. Uh, their micarta on their Begliter XL is very very smooth, uh, and this has a lot more texturing to it for sure. This looks like uh, maybe natural canvas micarta. Also with a natural canvas micarta backspacer there. Uh, and as you can see, very, very attractive uh, micarta. Very nice looking. And like I said, it's got some, uh, some texturing on it. So it's easy to keep, uh, it's easy to get a good grip on that guy and, and keep a good grip on it with no problem. Uh, again, you've got a stamped stainless steel pocket clip here. T6 screws for the pocket clip. T8 screw for the pivot. And what looks like T8 screws for the body screws as well. The blade on this guy is obviously going to be quite a bit bigger. Uh, and and the, although this is called a mini knife, this is definitely not mini, as you can see uh, in my hand there. So we're looking at um, about seven and a half inches. So that's definitely a full-size knife. Uh, I'm not going to weigh it right now or anything like that. Uh, I will do all that on the comprehensive review when I do that. This is 154 cm blade steel, not CPM 154. Make sure you keep in mind that distinction. Uh, they're both great steels, uh, but the uh, CPM-154 obviously is the powder form of that steel. This is the ingot form of that steel. Uh, let's see if there's anything different on the back here. Uh, Mini Paragon V4600C1. Uh, and I'm sure that this is the maker's mark, but I'm not sure exactly who that is. Nice little recurve on the blade there. Again, compound grind. Um, thicker out towards the tip, give you a little bit more robustness. Uh, you've got that milling again there with the opening hole and the thumb ramp. Exactly the same knife, just um, a little bit bigger, uh, which is very, very nice. And again, I really like this micarta. I like it a lot. Uh, some extra uh, texturing and jimping on the backspacer there to help you get a better grip on it. And you've again, you've got those two jimps up on the spine of the blade, I'm guessing, just to give you a little bit more traction when you're uh, maybe getting into detailed cuts or more powered downward cuts, something like that, to give you a little bit more control towards the tip of that blade. Let's see how the uh, action works on this guy. Yep, same as the other one. Drops straight back down into the handle. Wow, the detent on that is tight. So the reverse finger, the reverse finger, the reverse spidey grip uh, is a little tougher on this one, um, but you can definitely still do it. You just got to get a good push on that knife with your finger. The detent on that could be a little bit lighter, uh, but I'm sure that's that's for the, the flipper tab there, obviously. Uh, I'm sure if you get a little bit of momentum going with your wrist, that'll pop right out. Yep. All right. It seems like that works pretty well. I like this knife a lot. Uh, some jimping down here on the flipper tab. Uh, and there's a little bit of jimping up towards the front of the scale, too, as well. I'm not sure what that's there for, but um, yeah. I'm pretty excited about the uh, the XL Paragon coming out. I think I'm going to be definitely be buying that one for sure. Looks like there's some milling uh, on the stainless steel liners, and this is a stainless steel liner lock. Got a pivot collar here, nice and attractive. Yeah, this is a pretty nice knife. I like this a lot. And last but not least, we've got the Roxy, sorry, the Wii Roxy 3. The reason I've never bought this knife is because it's so small. 
Uh, but it's definitely a nice little uh, EDC knife, uh, as far as I can tell. It's not necessarily something that I would buy, but I've wanted to get my hands on this guy for quite a while just to check it out and show it on the channel and everything. Front flippers, see yeah, how that works. Yeah, that works pretty good. I'm not very good with front flippers, as you guys know. Um, but yeah, this one works pretty well. I like this a lot. A uh, little too small for me, as I said, but whatever blows your skirt up, right? And especially for the ladies, this is a this seems like a good knife uh, for for a young woman to carry. Um, nice slim handle here, titanium uh, scales. Uh, looks like T8 hardware on the body, T8 screw for the pivot. You've also got a T8 here for the over travel stop, T8 for the stainless steel um, lock bar insert, and looks like also T8s for the pocket clip as well. Uh, you've got a titanium backspacer here, whole bunch of jimping up on the spine of the blade for when you're uh, choked up. Uh, or probably you can get a hold of that as well. Yeah, nicely placed for even when you just have the standard uh, hammer grip. Uh, but I like the way they did the choil on this guy. Uh, you can choke up a little further with that finger choil there. Um, and not exactly a 50-50 choil here, but you know, you've got about, I'd say, 75-25. Uh, and and, and uh, the way this is set up, I'm able to get my finger in here with no problem without it getting too close to that edge. Uh, not sure exactly how I feel about this not having... A sharpening choil at all. Um, I know you can do it without uh, messing up the blade, but you have to have some experience uh, with that. Looks like this would be a good knife for a pinch grip. Uh, yeah, for sure. The way the tip of this blade uh, kind of curves down uh, allows you to, to get a good pinch grip on this blade, and you can get your finger all the way up there just for some very controlled uh, draw cuts. Uh, you've got what looks like a flat grind that extends all the way out to the tip, and you've got a fuller um, that extends out to about 75% the length of the blade. You've got a nice opening hole here, uh, and of course the blade stops right here where you've got this uh, extra um, steel uh, kind of lipped up a little bit, so that's where the cutting edge stops, obviously. Uh, you don't have to worry about any thumb studs getting in the way of the cutting path. And you do need to shake this shut a little bit, but it's not too bad. Very easy to do the reverse spidey flip on this guy. Let's see how the thumb works on it. Yeah, you can engage that with the thumb. Uh, works pretty well. And let's try that front flipper one more time. Now this knife is a little small for me to use the front flipper, but I can still do it. Uh, I like the fact that it kind of extends up a little bit. Uh, past the pivot just to give you a little bit more uh, gripitude there so that you can do the front flinger front flinger flip uh, on this knife. Uh, I've been getting more into Wii knives lately. Um, I haven't been a huge fan of those uh, for the vast majority of the time that I've been collecting, but that's mostly because uh, a lot of the knives that they've released in the last few years have been kind of safe. Uh, just kind of boring... Uh, knives that they you know make small tweaks to from the previous knife and then they release a new one and and they're kind of expensive uh, so I, I I haven't really been super into Wii knives but now they're released now that they're releasing uh, the newer knives that they have you've got the Xiphius uh, and the Exiton uh, those are very very interesting knives so I've been paying more more attention uh, to Wii knives lately for sure. Um, and I do like this one. Like I said, I've wanted to get my hands on a Roxy, a Roxy, a Roxy Wii 3 for quite some time. So I'm glad they sent this for me to take a look at. Uh, let's see if we've got any milling on the inside of this, uh, this guy. It doesn't look like we've got any internal milling on the titanium there. Uh, but this can't possibly be that heavy of a knife. Uh, I will weigh it when I do the comprehensive review. Um, but being such a small knife, I'm sure it's not very heavy at all. Uh, but it is very comfortable. It's, it's definitely something that I would use as a smaller kind of um, backup knife or, or maybe a backup to my backup, something like that. Uh, but being as, as, as expensive as it is, I don't know. Um, but yeah, a nice little knife. I like it a lot. Nice little stop pin in there. Let's see if that's for the... Yeah, so you don't have what looks like any shouldering there. Yeah, no, there's no shouldering, uh, but it, it does contact the stop pin, which obviously stops it from moving. Uh, no blade play left, right, up, or down. Uh, and like I said, you do have to shake it shut a little bit. Uh, but being such a small blade, that's not really a huge surprise. 
Okay, so we've got the Wii Roxy 3. We've got the Kaiser Extra Mini Paragon. You've got the Kaiser Mini Paragon. Uh, and you've got the Beg Blades. Uh, I believe this is the Bodega, but don't quote me on that just yet. I'll have to look into these and see exactly which one that is uh, before I do the review. Uh, but those will be coming up in a week or two here. Very excited about that. I thank uh, Apex Alchemy very, very much for sending these along for me to take a look at. Uh, I'm going to be probably sending him some of my knives for him to take a look at. So please head to his channel whenever you guys get time. Take a look at his content. Like I said, very, very good content on his channel. And subscribe to him if you enjoy his content. I'd really appreciate that. Uh, but I think that's it for tonight, guys. I hope you enjoyed the content. If you did, please like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate that. And stay up, y'all. Take it easy. Bye.